To demonstrate how scientists troubleshooted their way into the best version of this protocol, let's use a lab data simulator to recreate these experiments. First, how long should the plates be incubated for? Let's set up a series of disk diffusion assays where the only variable that changes is the incubation time. We can pick a series of time points, let's say 6, 12, 24, 48. We incubate the plates using the simulator, where time can be sped up, thankfully, and look at the results. We can see that in the earlier time points, no zone of inhibition has appeared. It's not until midway through the time series where we see the zone of inhibition around the antibiotic disc. If you push further into the time series, you can see that bacterial growth and the size of the zone of inhibition doesn't change much. We're past the point of diminishing returns. Ideally, you want the experiment to be done in the shortest amount of time that still gives you valid results.